Welcome to your first official tutorial on Katie's Joy. So let me give you a little background before we get started. I grew up in musical theater and choir way back in the day and I could play the piano a little bit. Well, when my grandmother passed away in the um, 1985, I do believe, probably a lot longer than some of you may have been born. Uh, but that said, uh, she left a ukulele for me, a vintage ukulele. So it's not in this video right now. Um, it's a C.F. Martin. And so three years ago, I decided to pick it up and learn it. Well, I only knew one thing about a ukulele, and that was that it was held like a guitar. I've learned uh, how to play it. I've taken a few lessons as well, and I'm currently in some lessons. So I'm more of an intermediate level at this point. So I thought I'd, um, I did Hotel California, and I thought, you know what? Um, people seem to enjoy that, that style, the whiteboard, uh, just kind of, it's just like me in front of you talking, okay? Pretend like I'm just right across from you and that's just what we're gonna learn. So along the way, I want to share a few tips and things that I have learned over the course of time. Why did I pick Stand By Me to start out with? A couple reasons. Firstly, it's a really cool, timeless song. It's got a pretty easy uh, timing and Another reason is um, we've just started an acoustic band with Music Encounters and I'm their ukulelist um, and this is one of our songs we're doing. So that's reason two. The third reason is that all of our chords are kind of along the same areas, okay? You, we'll be working with um, fret one, fret two fret one, fret two, the whole time. So as a beginner, that's kind of easy. You can kind of stay in one area. This is an Oscar Schmidt. I like this um, because it's strikingly beautiful. It's around the $200 range, you might be able to get a little less on Amazon, and it holds its tune incredibly well, and that's a really big deal, and it sounds pretty darn good. So. I have about six ukuleles and this is my go-to. What I have here is um, string one, two, three, and four. String one, two, three, four, and you can see. So I've kind of plotted it out for us. I went ahead and added the lyrics and whenever there's a chord change, here's tip, if you know uh, singing wise, you know, where the lyric falls or where a word in the lyric falls and you know that's where you need to be when there's a chord change, it's a very helpful tool to know that you are in time. So I went ahead and underlined the words that are very crucial when we're switching chords. Okay? So, let's give this a whirl. The first thing you want to do is make sure your ukulele is in tune. So, I never had a, a uh, proper um, tuner. I always had to do it online. So, if you can do the online tuning, I did it for like a year that way before I even got one of these and got serious. But if you happen to be luxury enough to have one, um, there it is, okay? Yeah, I gotta do it like this, don't I? Okay. I don't know if it'll show. Here it is. G, C. It's pretty much in tune. One more time. G, C, E. to see a tutorial, not how to tune your ukulele, right? All right. What we're going to do is I'm going to move this a little bit so you can be able to see both um, everything. All right. Now, Stand By Me is what's called 6-8 time. And a lot of times when we talk about timing, we don't want to be overwhelmed by it, okay? What I found is if you can just feel the song, 
most of the time you're going to be in timing. And it doesn't matter if like uh, you strum once like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or one, two, three, four, one. It's still the same amount of time to get to that point. It's just a matter of how much stuff you put in between it. And that's timing. <laughs> you may not hear people say it that way. But for this one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or you could say one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. In our acoustic band, we decided to do this song kind of like a lullaby. So I'm going to start you off that way. But honestly, truthfully, this song has a lot of variety to it. It could be strong tap, tap. some variety when you get onto the song you know give it some percussion give it some strum swish tap strum swish tap or whatever you want to do um, you know that's the thing about this instrument you've only got four strings and so we make it sound the best we can and don't be afraid of experimenting that's another tip I learned this over the years that I didn't have to be afraid of worrying about messing it up because the thing is, you can actually figure out what sounds good together. For instance, let's try that A minor right here. Well, I realized that this one right up here at fret five, same string that you're on, actually sounds pretty good, like it might harmonize. And so whenever I, there's an A minor, many times I might go up here. Now we are starting to work the fretboard a little bit. That's another tip I'll show you that I've learned over the years. So let's get on to the song. I'm just going to do the, the one, two, three, four, five, six. So here it is, the A. And you can see it goes right like this. So it's here and here. And I'll show you right here under the camera. That's your A. Here's another little tip. I learned this. You want to know another way to play an A? All right. You go right up here to the fourth fret, here, here, and here. We just made another A, and it just opened up your ukulele a little bit more, didn't it? So it's when the night, one, two, three, four, has come, and the land is dark, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the moon, notice how I changed to the D chord, is the only seven light will see, A, okay? When the night, there's our A, has come and the land. If you've got the A, right, here and here, just lay your finger down and now you have the F sharp minor. How cool is that, right? A, F sharp minor. A, F sharp minor. You didn't have to move very much. Now, let's say you want a D. Well, guess what? This, this finger and this finger is already there. You just got to slide that one down, and there's your D. There it is. Another way to play a D is to bar the whole line and put your pinky on the fifth fret. That's a professional, I guess, D. I particularly like it with my fingertips because I like the feel of it. And that's where I do my D. The E7. All right. So we've got one here, here, and here. And back to A. 
us try it by just strumming. When the night has come, F sharp minor, and the land is dark, and the only to the D, the light, E7 to A. Okay. When the night has come and the land is dark. Wait, and the moon, sorry, <laughs> is the only light wheel E7 to see. No, I won't. There's a no over here, by the way. Be afraid to the F minor, F sharp minor. And no, I won't. Be afraid. Just as E7 long as you stand to the A. So darling, by me to the F sharp minor stand by me oh stand now to that's the D to the E7 oh stand by me pretty much you have the whole song now and just go through the different verses so um, that's the song, and I just wanted to give you a little bit of highlight of what I'm about, what I'm going to do once a month. I don't want to bore you to death either, so, uh, but we're going to stay on classic songs, timeless songs, and then along the way I'll show you little tips and tricks that I have learned um, because I am an intermediate player now. So. Hopefully that helped. Go back and review it and let me know in the comments if um, there's anything else you want to see or um, anything like that. Let me know and I really appreciate you being here. I also have a Patreon page if you're interested. I think as I progress this I'll probably put actual um, maybe printouts of some of the song sheets over there for you to get. So anyway. This is just the beginning, and like I said, it's very informal. I got that kind of response from it. You know, we don't need anything fancy. You know, don't get all complicated, and just let it flow, and don't be afraid of it. Just enjoy it, and that's what this is, an instrument of joy. So, anyway, I'll wrap this up, and I'll see you in about three weeks. When the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see No, I won't be afraid No, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand by me So darling, stand Oh, 
darling, oh, stand by me.